So there are many options out there to set up surveillance and recording within the home or office, but this video we're going to talk and show you how you can actually set that up by yourself and save your recordings on your own personal NAS. We're using the Synology uh, Surveillance Station Bundle, which comprises of the DS416J NAS as well as the Amcrest camera. Now I. I like this NAS because it's simple and easy to use. Synology has a really easy setup. This is also a four bay NAS, so you can expand the storage. You've got two USB ports in the back, Ethernet port, and it's got 512 uh, uh, megs of RAM. So you've got enough for all your needs there. Now the Amcrest camera is a 1080p Wi-Fi camera. You know, it's got night vision mode. Uh, what I like about the camera is also is that in terms of mobility, you've got uh, tilt up and down. Uh, you've also got rotation with this camera. It's got this weatherproofing so this is an indoor and outdoor camera you can use this camera outdoors and it also uh, is Wi-Fi connected camera so you can see it rotates all the way uh, around it does a full one in rotation it's got a built-in microphone for that uh, as you can see it tilts up and down and um, you've got a nice range with the camera uh, in terms of covering viewpoints now looking at the back of the camera you do have a power port You've got audio in and audio out. Uh, you've got some IGO settings for alarms and you've got an ethernet port if you need to use that. So putting that all together, once you have the camera connected in the location you want it connected, the next thing you want to do is set up that NAS. Now setting up the NAS is a really simple process. If you want to learn how to do that, I want to, you want to go through the steps, definitely check out our uh, Synology video here and see how actually that works. So after you set up your Synology NAS, the next thing you want to do is set up Surveillance Station 8 software. You download it, of course, through the NAS software uh, interface and you are good to go. The next thing is downloading the Surveillance Station uh, desktop client, really simple and easy to use. Now, the first thing you notice is there's a live view option on the desktop client, and I really like the live view option. It, it, it allows you to, of course, control the camera, as you can see here. So I'm gonna pan all the way right with the camera, and I can pan um, all the way left. But you see I moved from uh, night vision to color. As you can see, my hue lights that from the headphone wall lit up right there, going back again to night vision. And that's actually done under automatically because I went to an area, I was looking at an area that had light, uh, that was lit. You can also zoom in and zoom out with the camera. You can tilt up as well as you can tilt the camera down. So you've got a lot full range of the functionality of the camera itself, which is nice uh, built into this. You've, you can also do geolocation if you want to. Again, this camera can be used indoors or outdoors. Uh, and uh, uh, just a note, you can also use multiple cameras on the system. Uh, there's a microphone button so you can actually talk to people using the camera um, if you need to talk to someone on there. So those features are nice, well built in, uh, definitely like it. Now, after the live view, uh, you have your timeline. Timeline is basically a way for you to actually go ahead and see what has happened throughout the day, especially, um, you know, days that you've recorded content or you've recorded um, surveillance footage. Now you can see the calendar on the left hand side it allows you to jump to different days, but you can also use a slider within the days to jump through the timeline. So uh, this day only has a few hours because it's still recording live and you can jump all the way through to different times in the day. The green basically notates uh, um, motion, activity, or some level of movement. As I switch days, you can see there's some days where it's it's more gray, which means less movement. Green parts, of course, where there's, there's something that's gone on, so the light was lit, which is probably why somebody walked into the area of the camera. So it's catching motion, and it's catching a lot of things that uh, can be recorded for you. Uh, so it makes it nice, uh, and it, it allows you to go ahead and find out, okay, who came in at this time, what was the person doing there, who was there at that time, uh, cross checking this kind of information. Um, you know, you can also you know skip through um, you know uh, the days and, and throughout the video. So you've got that option. You've also got the option to change the sensitivity of the motion to low, high, or medium. So if you want it to be less sensitive because you know there's something that uh, might interfere, you can definitely do that. Uh, next up, of course, you've got your 
recording catalog. So basically, all the videos you recorded in terms of surveillance, you can go in and check them uh, as video files. You can go through, you know, different days. Uh, you can go ahead and play those videos separately and skip through the videos as you would expect. And then besides that, um, skimming through, you can export the video, import videos. Um, you've got a few other uh, functionality options in there that's built in, um, which is nice. So you've got a couple of options in there. Uh, you also have IP. Now IP camera basically allows you to add a camera to the system. You can add another Amcrest camera or you can go ahead and add various cameras, doesn't matter. So, uh, the, the Synology uh, Surveillance Station 8 allows for multiple cameras and multiple camera systems from different manufacturers which is great uh for the system gives shows you the system settings your storage we're using for storage at this point um and allows you to just you know kind of manage that as well as also your network connectivity and all that fun stuff so one of the things i'd like about you know the surveillance surveillance station bundle from Synology and what they've offered and what they've kind of recommended for people is that the DS416J does a really good job in handling what you need for software wise and also the constant recording this is constantly recording so you I have footage I have footage that's there for a 24-hour period recorded and on my own NAS that I don't need to um, it's, it's saved on the cloud. I can access this remotely. The remote app is okay, which is why I just didn't show you because uh, I know Synology is making some updates, so they were making some updates to that. But I do have access to this, and this is my own recording. This is not saved um, on some cloud somewhere. It's not saved by a company. I'm not paying any extra money. It's mine. I can access it and no one can. For you to access this, you have to come into my house and basically try and log into my NAS if you know my password and do and access it. Uh, and it's 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 harder that way because there's a physical barrier to it. In terms of price, you're looking at about 289 for the DS416J. Uh, if you go into a three terabyte, uh, a one terabyte hard drive, you can actually only spend about 89 bucks for that for a NAS hard drive. And then the camera is about a hundred bucks. So it really is really cost effective bundle for home security uh that's something that you can use access anywhere and also um you know store your own uh surveillance content so guys if you have any questions or any comments about the synology um surveillance station bundle how to set up your own home security network let me know don't forget to like and share this video favor this video subscribe to the channel if you're looking to buy some of these things to set up yours use the links down below and this is thunder e saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.